like Juiced and the forthcoming Midnight Club 3, NFSU2 offers speed junkie wide boys an almost infinite amount of visual and performance customization options to spruce up their motors. Want to improve your car's drift, for example? Adjust the suspension, tyres and brake bias until you're flying around corners. Visual upgrades include spoilers, headlights, side skirts, roof scoops, hoods, rims and shiny neon. In short, there's no excuse for spluttering up to a race in a creaky old banger. The new open city really has our collective mouths watering though. It's around five times as big as before with its five neighbourhoods connected by a set of intricate freeways. This means that races can happen at any time and cover an unlimited number of routes, with events off the beaten track offering higher stakes than the standard ones. And this time you're free to choose which events to compete in, rather than being forced to enter a circuit, drift or drag race every so often. As long as you win a certain amount, you'll move up the career ladder regardless. Once you do start earning, it's up to you which car in your garage the money goes on and whether it's spent on looks or performance. Drag races are just as thrilling as they were the first time out, but they've added plenty of new vehicles and the ability to have the camera outside the car during this mode. Speed freaks will still want an in-car view, however. All the licensed cars sadly means there still won't be any damage or deformation effects, which sits at odds with the arcade handling and style points awarded for near misses, insane jumps and breakneck speeds. Still, mod fans will relish the prospect of tinkering with real cars. The increased number of customization options and a larger playing field should make this a winner, especially if the rubbery handling of the first game is improved.